into the um, sticks, okay? You got it? There you go. You got it. Right down the middle. Right in the middle, Jax. There you go, Jax. Go ahead. You got it, big boy. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, welcome to the video. That's right, we're gonna be taking a look at Ford regular cab truck. That's right, not a four door, not a super cab, not an extended cab, not an access cab. A two door truck, that's right. We're gonna take one of these good looking Ford two door trucks and we're gonna take it down to the Chevy store and we're gonna see if we can find a Chevy that's similar and see what the differences are. Last week we filmed F-150 XLT versus the Chevy Silverado LT crew cabs. Both of them have four door. This week I think there's some of y'all out there that would be interested in seeing a difference between just the work truck. So, should we pick the white? I don't think so. Let's hop in one that's a little more fancy, right? Cool looking color. I think we're gonna hop in this pretty one right here, that blue one. I think they call it blue jeans. That's the color name of this one. So anyways, let's do that. Now, I don't know if the Chevy store's got a regular cab down there like this, but we're gonna take a look. This one right here is priced out at $27,070. Um, it's a 2018 F-150 four by two, okay? And uh, it's got the V6 under the hood. And yep, it's called blue jeans, that's the color. So that's the one we're gonna get in right now. Stay with us. everybody so we inside the Ford F-150 we're gonna go ahead and cruise it down to the Chevy store and see how these two vehicles compare some of the things we'll be looking at today is the exterior styling the interior styling and the amenities that you'll get on a work truck okay so that's really the main things we're going to talk about today because really at the end of the day when you are deciding on which truck to purchase one of them is gonna have something on it that makes you wanna buy it versus the other one. And then there's some people out there that are just diehard Chevy drivers and diehard Ford drivers, and they won't pick anything but a Chevy or a Ford. And as we've seen with some of y'all's comments in our past video last week, some people switch. They've been driving Fords for years and they switched over to Chevy or vice versa. All right, so one thing I do want to definitely check out on this truck right here, again, it's got the V6 3.5 liter. Let's see how the pickup is on it. Let's go ahead and mash it down. Huh. It felt pretty good. So horsepower feels nice, that's for sure. I'll tell you one thing, with either truck, whether it's a Chevy regular cab or a Ford regular cab, you definitely probably will seem to have a little more pickup and horsepower. Maybe the ratings aren't that much different, but when driving them, I mean, this is gonna be a lot lighter truck. It's not gonna weigh as much as a big extended cab or big four-door truck, so it's not gonna weigh that much. And whatever power you're getting out of that V6 engine under the hood, it's gonna feel nice when you mash down the gas pedal. Another thing I can tell you while sitting in the driver's seat of the Ford F-150 right now is uh, doesn't have a whole lot of blind spots. It really doesn't, I mean, again, Basically right behind my head is a back window. The mirrors on the outside are big. The windshield's nice and wide. So I mean, I can see out really nicely here and, uh, and see everything going on to the right and left of me. So that's pretty cool. All right, everybody, we made it to the Chevy store. I pulled up two other vehicles on top of the Ford over there. We got a 2018 Silverado work truck and a 2018 Colorado work truck. We're gonna take a look at all three and see what the differences are compared to the Ford. Let's go ahead and do that. 
All right, everybody, so as you can see, the three trucks are right here. You got the Ford F-150, two-wheel drive 1500 V6, 2018 Silverado, two-wheel drive 5.3 V8, and then 2018 Colorado down on the far end down there, work truck, that's two-wheel drive V6. Now, here's the thing. I couldn't find a Silverado out here today. I don't believe we have one that's as similar to this, okay? Meaning V6, maybe a different color than white with a short bed, okay? So that one's got a long bed on it. So just make sure you understand that. It is available though. Chevy's got a, you can buy a regular cab Silverado without the long bed with the short box on the back, okay? And you can get it with a V6 if you like. But anyways, with no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're really gonna take a look at real quickly here is the pricing, okay? Because that is really, at the end of the day, the most important thing that really things come down to is how much more am I gonna spend? How much less am I gonna spend? So again, XL, Alloy wheels, you can get a, 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 um, a uh, F-150 with the steel wheels, but again, this truck equipped pretty nice for the most part. You got power windows, power door locks, um, all that good stuff, okay? 27,070. Now retail on here is 30,700. Now Ravenel Ford and Marchant Chevy owned by the same company. They all do their vehicles new car pricing at 98 over invoice plus incentives and rebates. So you can see 30,700, 1380 rebate. Our incentive, 98 over invoice is 29320, less the rebate 2250, puts you down at 2770. Okay, and 750 more you can save if you finance for motor credit. But what one thing I probably am gonna tell you right off the get-go right now is that you will notice that the Ford trucks have a lot more incentives and rebates than the Chevys do. Not exactly sure why, but for some reason Ford has a lot bigger rebates going on than the Chevrolets. I don't know, but that's just what it is. So if you know the answer to that, let me know in the comment section. So one thing I do like about the uh, the Ford F-150 here is it's a different color than white. But if you watch my videos on the regular, you know what I'm about to say about white trucks and white work vehicles. White is supposedly the safest color on the road. You get lower insurance premiums for your business or whatever with white. And again, why is it safe? Because white is so bright. Day or night or whatever weather is going on, you can see a white truck coming down the road quick then you might see a blue truck coming down the road. So anyways, just gonna, we're just kind of briefly looking at the outsides of these trucks. You know, this one's got the tow package already on the back. This one's got the backup camera. All three trucks will have backup cameras on them today, okay? There's your Chevy Silverado. Again, like I said, this has got an eight foot bed in the back compared to like a six and a half foot bed on the, on the Ford. You can get it shorter and you can get different colors on this truck as well. My camera likes to fall down on me. All right, this one also has a tow package on the back. Now, one thing you'll notice different is that, this, and this is a selling feature, folks, on the Chevrolet, you got this right here, okay? Again, depending on how old you are or how tall you are or whatever, it's nice to have this right here to be able to get into the back of the truck. The Ford offers nothing on the back to put your foot on to get in the back of the truck other than that right there, okay? And maybe that's Ford's logic on it. Just put your foot here, climb in the back. Again, some of the higher end trim level Fords will have a have a kind of a thing going on here where a step will come out of there and there'll be a pole that pops up. But again, you gotta buy a Lariat or some kind of massive full size, you know, fully loaded truck with Ford to get that. On your regular F-150 XLTs and stuff like that, you don't have that. So you nothing to get in the back. Maybe it's not a big deal to you, but it is a big deal to me because when I'm trying to get stuff in and out of this truck and need to hop back there quicker, that right there is a little bit nicer. And as you can see, this is a Colorado. Same type of situation going on. It's right there, easy to get in and out. The reason why I brought the Colorado in on this video today is because really for the price, if you're comparing Ford versus Chevy, and maybe you don't want the 1500 series or I don't know, whatever's going on, really for the price that you're gonna spend on that Ford down there, you could buy a Colorado for a little bit less in a work truck and be extended cab and all that good stuff. So anyways, they're all good looking trucks. They really are. The Colorado is definitely top rated. 
Silverado, and the Ford is definitely top rated. So all great looking trucks. Really at the end of the day, what's it come down to on what your reasoning is on picking a Ford versus Chevy or a Chevy versus a Ford? All right, so enough of the fill in words while I'm walking around talking. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interiors because this is where you're gonna spend a lot of time at while owning a truck and driving a truck. You're always in the inside, right? Again, it's a vehicle, it transports you. So anyways, we got power windows, power mirrors, power door locks on this particular truck. You can get a basic white work truck with Ford that's got roll up windows and manual door and all that kind of thing, okay? Again, we just didn't pick that on today's video. We also have the vinyl seats, which are nice, and when driving it earlier, coming down here, they were actually really comfortable to sit in. Vinyl floors right there as well. Um, you know, you do get some nice little extras in here. You got all these buttons and controls on the steering wheel, so you got your cruise control, your Bluetooth, because you do have the sync system in here to link up your mobile device with the truck, so that's nice. Volume control, channel changer, all that. You have a small LCD screen right through the middle there and then another small LCD screen right over here now pay attention to the word small because it is a kind of a small screen right but you got it you got a 12 volt USB port right there 12 volt outlet down there and another one over there so that's pretty good center armrest as you saw earlier you know it's a center seat or an armrest plenty of headroom up top there's no sunglass holders up there though so you don't have anywhere to put sunglasses but Ford definitely does give you some little hooks right back there so if you got a dress shirt or a sport jacket or whatever you got to hang up you can hang something up right in the back there you go all right so that's basically in a nutshell what the interior looks like on the Ford. Let's take a look at the Chevy. Again, because if you find a Chevy truck that's a 1500 series with a short box in the back, it's going to be pretty close to the same interior as we're getting on this, except for you might get power windows or power door locks. Now you saw the price earlier on that truck. With all the incentives and rebates and everything, we got it down under $30,000. With the Chevrolet work truck, MSRP retail is $31,755. 98 over invoice is $31,002. There's no incentives, there's no rebates or anything available at this particular moment today on this 2018 truck. So $31,002 is pretty much the price plus taxes tag fee, things like that. We don't have any dealer admin fees or anything as you can see on that sticker. As you can see, you do got power door locks, but you got roll up manual windows. There you go. You got the vinyl seats just like the Ford had, and you got the vinyl floors. Let's take a look and see if there's any differences on the interior. Well, you do have an LCD screen through the middle. Obviously, Chevy's giving you a little bit bigger screen right there. Both trucks have backup cameras. Both camera views are right there at that screen. I think it's a little nicer on the Chevy to have a bigger screen to be able to see a little bit more. So that's not too bad. If you um, look down here, we're wondering, where are USB ports and auxiliaries and all that? We got one 12 volt. The Ford had a 12 volt down here and a 12 volt up there but I'm not seeing any USB ports. So I'm only imagining right now, or I'm thinking that it's in this area here. And that's correct. So you have a 12 volt here, and then a, actually two auxiliaries, or no, one auxiliary, two USB ports. If you can see that, there you go. So actually you're getting a little bit more ports inside the Chevy versus the Ford. You got sunglass holders in the Chevy. And again, this is a Chevy work truck with roll up windows, you got sunglass holders right there. Not bad. You also do get the little hanger spots right back here in the rear as well. And again, you got three cup holders versus two on the Ford. And that does, that can, uh, you know, do like that to be a center seat. So that's the inside of the Chevy in a nutshell, right? Not bad, good looking truck. Seems like the Chevy, even after I did a video last week of the LT and the, and the XLT on the Ford, we realize that the Chevy has a little more amenities on it than the Fords do, right? But the Fords seem to have more rebates and incentives than the Chevys do. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at the Colorado, right? Good looking truck. Didn't see out here a regular cab Colorado today, so I'm picking the extended cab version or the access cab, whatever they want to call it. 
Close enough though, because I can tell you, I've done reviews on this truck before and I realized that even the extended version, it's really, you might as well call it a regular cab because there's not a whole lot of room back there. There really isn't. All right, but if you wanna open that door up, you just grab here and open up. And if you need to slide somebody back there, there is two small little seats right back there to use. All right, let's take a look. So we do got power windows, power door locks, power everything even got a little power seat going on the Colorado is a great looking truck let's take a look at the cabin here let's take this key out so we don't hear the beeping sound the whole time cruise control again this is a work truck Colorado it says it right there on the window sticker WT and we'll look at the price in just a minute but Chevy once again is giving you a nice big screen inside this truck you got a USB port auxiliary and a 12 volt right over there. Cup holders are here. A little different layout than your Silverado. And then right here, there's no outlets at all down in there. So it looks like there's something there, but it's, it's capped off. There's nothing there. And you're not getting any sunglass holders up top. So there's some things you're actually losing on the Colorado versus buying the Silverado. You do get that. But you just lost your sunglass holders. You just lost power outlets in the center console. You got to do everything up front. So that, again, when you're out there shopping for a work truck, pay attention to those things, right? You might like the size and the look of the Colorado, maybe a little better than the Silverado, but you're losing some things, right? And of course, on the Colorado, it's a it's um it's a little it's not as wide as the Silverado, so they, when they call it a short box in the back, they mean it's a short box. But there you have it. Now this particular one doesn't have a tow package. The other two did. Does have backup camera. Does have V6. Now let's take a look at the price real quickly. See what we got going on. This one is the cheapest out of all three at 26,489 that's 98 over invoice so MSRP 2740 26489 right there no incentives no rebates available particularly right now in March 2018 while we're filming this there may be some that come later on throughout the year and that's kind of how Chevy does it um, fuel economy again 25 highway 18 city average combined is 20 so let's remember that 20 25 on the highway. Safety ratings look pretty good. V6, 8-speed automatic, but again, 25 highway. Let's take a look at our Silverado 1500. So again, average combined on the Colorado was 20, highway was 25. You're getting an average combined 19, highway 23. So this is a little bit lower, but it makes sense. You're getting a 5.3 V8. Safety ratings are still looking pretty good. Let's go look at the Ford over here for a second. Oh wow, look at this. Now here, this is interesting. 25 highway, 19 city, average combined on the Ford is 22. So technically the Ford is getting better fuel economy than both the Chevrolets over there. So I thought the Colorado would kind of match up and it does pretty closely match up to these two over here. But that average combined 22 is higher on the Ford. And again, this is a 3.3 liter with a six speed automatic instead of the Chevy with an eight speed automatic with a 3.5, I'm pretty sure. Um, they don't have any safety rating on here unfortunately so I hope some of this is helping out with your decision that's what we're here for on Charleston car videos is to help you make an informed decision before buying a truck both trucks are great Ford and Chevy have both been around a long long time but again it really comes down to which one do you like best which one looks best too I mean you know, people buy vehicles the way they look. I mean, come on. You don't buy a truck without saying, okay, I like the way it looks. You know, that also plays a factor too. You're not going to buy something that's butt ugly, right? So anyways, and none of these trucks are butt ugly at all. They, they look pretty good. I like the Colorado, the Silverado, and the Ford. So anyways, if I think of anything else to film on these trucks while we're out here, we're already pushing over, over 18 minutes on the video. Let me know in the comments section, and I do appreciate your time. All right, we're going to go ahead and park these trucks back, and um, we're in the Silverado right now. So let's go ahead and crank it up and see what we got going on. And we'll go ahead and at least sit in the truck and park it back on camera and let you see how it looks while we're 
and moving it around. I will tell you, it does seem like you sit a little higher up in the air in the Ford. The Chevy seems a little bit lower to the ground. I mean, it's not real low, but it does seem like it sits a little higher in the Ford truck. Hmm. So that's one thing to think about. Another thing I want to look at real quick while we're in this truck is the backup camera. Because again, that's one of those important features you'll get on your truck is a backup camera. And I think if you didn't have a backup camera now, you'll come to find that the backup camera is really pretty useful. And you'll enjoy using it because especially with a work truck, it's going to help you when you're backing up. So anyways, we're going to pull in this spot right here by this red Silverado. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. As you can see, the, the, the shifter's on the column in here. Okay, some people like that versus this kind of thing going on. There's your camera right there, if you can see it. You got the guidelines on the camera, and they move with you while you're turning the steering wheel to help you, uh, you know, position the truck just right. So I like that about, about the backup camera. And most, most trucks nowadays with backup cameras will have the guidelines. Most vehicles have the guidelines. So, I worked for Audi back in the late 2000, or early, well, basically I worked for Audi from 2005 to 2010, and um, Audi was one of those brands where, where they were kind of like, them and Acura were the first ones out there throwing backup cameras in the cars, and Audi had those guidelines that moved with you, and uh, kind of a kind of a benchmark in the uh, car business in a sense. All right, now e-brake is right here on the floor in the Silverado, boom, just like that. Colorado, same spot. So there you have that. All right, let's go hop into Colorado and park that one back. Now, one thing I just noticed while walking over to Colorado is that we have a we have this here. The Chevy that we just looked at, the work truck, does not have a keyless entry like this right here. It's just got a key. You got to put it in there and turn it, okay? So that's a nice little advantage here of buying the Colorado is getting even this right here. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. Ugh. Definitely feels a little bit smaller, of course. I mean, again, it's Colorado. It's smaller. My head rubbed up on that just now. So, when I say smaller, if you're a guy that's like me, that's six foot and up, I'm about six one, six two. The Silverado might be a little bit, have a little more room for you when uh, when sitting inside of it. So, you know, you definitely, if you had two grown men in the Colorado here riding, I mean, it's fine. They both be sitting in here just good to go, but. You know, we would be kind of rubbing elbows a little bit, and two burly men, they might not want to be rubbing elbows. You do got this right here, so instead of it being on the column, it's right there. There's your camera. So let's go ahead and back this puppy up. Again, the Ford Ranger will be coming out this year. It'll be a 2019, but it will be sold and out there at Ford dealerships later in the summer of 2018. So all vehicles usually come out, you know, several months before the year that's said on the window sticker. Definitely Colorado, a little bit easier to park. Again, it's a smaller truck. E-brake right down there. All right. There you have it. And quickly before we go today, you can buy a Colorado that's not just a work truck. It's nice that they offer a work truck version of the Colorado, but here's just a regular extended cab or access cab with alloy wheels. And, uh, and it'll have, you know, power windows, power door locks, all those options that you want. But again, alloys instead of steel wheels, not as much of a work truck as that one over there. And, uh, you know, the price is not that much more really. I mean, after discounts and all, we're at 2872 for a Colorado two-wheel drive LT extended cab okay v6 and you got a little bit different color than white 